I'm going to show you the new functionalities that we included. Uh, it is called SDC API. I think most of you uh, already know what is an API, so that is the automatic programming interface uh, that helps uh, to automate the, the process. In our uh, case, uh, help to automate the process uh, with uh, SDC verifier. So actually, this is a set of methods that uh, you can access that by typing the SDC API. And after, if you press the dot, you will you will get the list of the methods, like in tips, and some hints uh, what what they're required. For example, in this uh, case, it's required uh, two dimensions, width and height. And also, we have a different types of the methods. For example, in get project, the return type is the the object. In the set plot window, we have a return type boolean. It means that uh, it, it indicates if the um, method uh, passes or fails. Also, we have the third one. Uh, this is called avoid. It means that it will just do some action and, that, and does not return any type. So I'm going to show you a few examples how it works. Ah, I want to mention that uh, this um, uh, API works. Uh, you, you need to write the code using the c -sharp programming language. Yeah, and now I'm going to show you a few examples. For example, I'm going to open the project. We can find, we can see that uh, I need to set some project file name, which is actually the, the full path. Set that directly here by typing like uh, disk C and so on. But it is better to use that in the separate variable, so it, it will be easier to change that in the future. So to declare a new variable, you type the var and define the name of the variable equals to the some string of your path to the project. It is important here to use the add symbol for the path because it will treat the, the, the string as a, as a full path. And another important thing, it uh, all the actions should uh, end with the semicolon. Uh, now I need to, to define the path, but for example, if I need to copy that from somewhere and I need to close the to close this window, there is no worry that the script will gone, so you can just simply close that. For example, I will copy the path from here. And if I go back, I can see that my script is, is still here. So I'm going to, to paste that path here and and we'll use this variable as an input for this method. It means that it will open, uh, the, if you run the script, it will open me this project. Uh, the next uh, option I would like to show you is how to get a load. I will also declare, declare a variable, call that load set one equals, and we start again, SDC API dot and get load set. Uh, we can uh, get all the law, all the collection of load sets from the respective job. We have the job ID as input parameter, or we can get only one load. Uh, in, a, in my project, I have only one load set, so I will use this, this function. And here I can just pass the ID of the job one and the ID of the load set one. It will return you a value to, to, uh, uh, to this variable. <coughs> Later on, you can use uh, also this load set, for example, to set a safety factor. You type again SDC API, set safety factor. And here you can find that we can uh, pass the loader and the safety factor value. I will, instead of the load, use the, uh, my load set, and instead of safety factor, I'll put 133. Uh, also, it is possible here to add uh, uh, standards. So, SDC API, add standard. And you will get uh, a list of uh, available standards in SDC verifier. Here all, here, all the standards will be created with the uh, default settings. The only one you need to define is the title of the, of the standard. I will use the your code three title. 
Okay, next uh, thing I would like to show you is how to add a new report here. So we type SDC API, add report. We have report wizard and report designer. I'm going to use the report designer. So input parameter, we have the predefined types as maybe you, you may remember Oleg showed the, the, the menu of that report. So you have empty, model setup, results or full. I'm going to use the empty one just for the quick generation. Now that this, uh, this uh, method also uh, returns you the object of the report. So I'm going to declare, declare a variable again. And then to generate report, you type SDC API, generate report. Uh, you can define the, the path of the document where it will be saved or just simply generate report where, where it will put to the project uh, file path. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to pass the ID of the report, which I get from this variable. Okay, and next uh, you might want to save the project, I think, this is this API. You can save this current project or you can save that with a different path. <clears throat> I'm going to save the same project. And just to close SDC verifier, you type SDC API, exit. But I'm not, go not going to close that. So I will just run the script, run the script, just simply execute the, the script. So we will wait until this process, it, it reads all the values. And now we can see that the project is opened. We have added Eurocode 3 standard and we generated a empty report, which contains the, the first page, the content and the preface. So I think all the methods uh, you can uh, find in our help topics. So for better reference, it's better to check that. I yes, this it. automation is uh, is very important for the customers who who would like to, for example, leave SDC verifier to do some work overnight. We have customers who are running tw twenty reports overnight using this this feature, and uh, yeah, this is very important to save time and to uh, to skip even more of routine work for, for an engineer. Yeah, thank you, Oleg.